Okay, we'll call this regular monthly board meeting Tuesday, July the 28th, 2015. To order, we offer the prayer. Uh, Superintendent Boche, Pledge of Allegiance, Mr. Egan. Dear Heavenly, dear Heavenly Father, we come to you this evening mindful of next week's opening to the school year for our staff. We ask that you bless each individual who will work with us next school year, giving them the enthusiasm and dedication to children so necessary to help each child meet his or her potential. Be with our administrators as they put the final touches on their preparation work this week. And Father, we ask a special blessing upon the young first year teachers who are joining our ranks. Help them to find their way early on and help us as we try to find the support they need to have a successful first year and for many first job. These things we pray in your name. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Superintendent Boche, would you call the roll? Mrs. Acevedo? Here. Mr. Campbell? Here. Mr. Egan? Here. Mr. England? Here. Mrs. Lemoyne? Here. Mrs. Dysar? Here. Dr. Kraft? Here. Dr. Lewis? Here. Mr. Long? Here. Mr. Nicosia is not with us. Mr. Warner? Here. Okay. At uh, this point, we have a personal privilege. We have someone with a birthday, a young, young guy, and that falls on today, Mr. Sean Warner. We uh, oh, happy wish you a happy birthday. Yeah. Thank you. That's 21 years old. He's finally old enough to vote. Young as male. <laughs> okay. All right. Do we have any community concerns? Anyone signed up? Ms. No, Belichick? Uh, okay. Dr. Hart, may I have the floor for Yes, me? you have the floor there, Superintendent Boche. Okay. I, I would just like to uh, bring two issues to the board's attention. First of all, we have, um, there was an emerging scholars program at Tulane University. And one of our students was selected for the year to do a year of research with them. Uh, he was one of eight students selected in the metro area to do so. Oh. And he just graduated from Shelmet High School, Jonathan Kutchie. I know that we uh, have heard a great deal from him. And I would like to just read one little paragraph in the Emerging Scholars Program from Tulane University, the Environmental Health Sciences Academy. It says, Jonathan Kutchie attended Shelmet High School where he graduated in May of 2015. He completed a research project which studies the relative <coughs> potency of methylated crystines in aryl hydrocarbon activation. Now that's a, a real mouthful. <laughs> With the support and mentorship of Dr. Charles Miller. He will attend Louisiana State University where he will major in biological engineering with a concentration in pre-med in the Fast Path program. Kutchie wants to pursue a medical degree and doctorate in biological engineering upon completion of his undergraduate work. And there is a little quote from him in here that says, the Emerging Scholar Academy has broadened my horizons in not only science, but also in diversity. It was truly an unforgettable experience. So we'd like to uh, congratulate young Mr. Kutchie and uh, what a tremendous representative he is of Shelmet High School and the program that we have in his being selected as one of the eight emerging scholars. Uh, so just wanted to bring that to everyone's attention. Awesome. Yes, that's Dr. Kraft's grandson. I mean, as we all know, even though he had absolutely nothing to do with this honor, <laughs> other than through the and gene the pool. I and the think, research, uh -huh. it was and way above the research. And the research. <laughs> Yeah, so Way hopefully above. he'll go on and present uh, recently, <laughs> maybe in uh, two places in Florida, on their nickel. So uh, that will be a good experience for him because he uh, he had a a great huge poster with his research and findings on it, and I was just flabbergasted when I heard him talking about all the things that they had done in these two months. He spent uh, July, I mean June and July. And they finished it this past 
this past uh, Friday, and uh, he did well in defending his work. It's okay. unbelievable. And I'd like to introduce to you one of our um, uh, Miss Alex Lapre. Alex has been uh, with us for what is it six? This will be my seventh year. Seventh year coming up. She's been teaching. She was a teacher at English teacher at Shelmont High School. Was an instructional coach at Shelmont High School as well. And when we did the advertisement, you know, for our communications person, and we split it because we couldn't uh, really didn't have the um, resources to appoint a full time person. But Alex will be doing it part time and also doing the ELA curriculum support grades 6 through 12 with the other half of her time. I wanted to introduce you to her this evening because she will be doing all of the communications for the school system and just give her a, a quick minute to let you know what she has done to this point. Yeah, great. Which in her very short week or so that she's been here. Yes, it has been a role. steep learning curve. I first want to say I'm very excited to have the opportunity to move uh, in with the district administration. It was bittersweet to leave Mr. Munt, uh, Mr. Warner and Ms. Munt, but I'm excited to be a part of the district staff and have the opportunity to work with all the school and district leaders in representing our school in a really positive light going forward. So it has been, I started July 1st, it's been very quick, but there are a couple things that I just wanted to share with you all that we have started. Um, so the first would be we have a parent brochure that's been going out for the last several years that we have redesigned and redeveloped the content within that brochure. It will be going out in the post and it's scheduled to be released on July 24th. The ultimate aim of that brochure is just to give parents the most necessary information to ensure their kids were successful on day one so parents can find things in there such as the dress code, attendance policies, they will also be able to find all the contact information and um, back to school night or school supply drop off information will all be in that brochure. The second piece, which I'm very excited about, is we've developed our Facebook page, um, which will be going live shortly. This will be a really good opportunity for us to directly interact with our parents, who for the most part are all on Facebook, um, and the community at large. So we'll be going live with that in the next couple of days. We have made minor changes to the current district website, um, including updating administrative contacts that are on the website. We've added the district calendar to a couple different places and updated that. The new parent brochure can also be found there. Um, we'll be also including the press releases that I've written and continue to write just so that the community has access to them. With that said, we are in the beginning process of figuring out our next step moving forward with developing the new website. It's a lengthy process. We have begun it. We've started to do the research to figure out where we're going after this. Um, we have also been involved in the government's planning of their Katrina 10 events for the anniversary week. Um, so along with um, the breakfast that the district will host on that Friday morning, our choir will be singing the Sunday night before that and we'll be participating in some of those government um, hosted events for that week and um, that is about it so it's been very quick I'm learning as much as possible but I'm excited to get to work with all of you and Ms. Boche and the district staff in the next couple of weeks so, congratulations so glad to have you on board that's an area that you will uh, feel uh, effectively there because that was a uh, weak spot with no one fully responsible for it. It was a bit fragmented, so this is a way you can provide coordination and organization there that will get the word out about the secret in St. Bernard. Absolutely. The public school system. Absolutely. <laughs> Without a doubt. Okay. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. Yes. I'm Alex, I, just I just also want to say congratulations. Yes. We're very excited to have thank you, but you. also to have the position as part of our administrative team. Our administrators have done an excellent job, uh, besides the other jobs that they do, of mm -hmm. trying to get the word out and uh, communicating yeah. to the public and all. Do so it. this is, as Dr. Kratz said, a, 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 an area that we really needed to have some support for, so we're very, very happy to have you what here and um, have you do that work. Thank you. Thank you. And um, Alex is also going to work with the uh, schools we're going to have when we redevelop the district-wide website, have 
really an upgrading of the school websites as well with a person at each school responsible and she'll coordinate that effort and work with them in that capacity so hopefully over the course of this next year we're going to see a lot of improvement in that area and can we get an update can you bring us in when you get that website built and absolutely. bring it in give us a demonstration of it yeah That'd absolutely. Be fantastic That's great mm -hmm. looking forward to working with you thank you i'm excited mr long uh, speaking of the uh, this the school websites Ms. Voce, uh, maybe this is in the future but I'm looking forward to the day when parents can like uh, access the website to find out the homework assignments and, and things uh, that their children have I know that's available in in uh, some parishes and uh, I think it's a nice tool mm -hmm. that uh, parents uh, would be able to utilize hopefully that's in the future Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Alex? Go ahead. Okay. We'll continue the agenda. Do we have any other personal privileges, anything from the board before we uh, continue on the uh, agenda? Uh, Ms. Mayor Lametta, uh, if you will give us the end of the course exam results. Yes, good evening. <clears throat> As you all know, when I came to you in the fall, in the spring, actually, we didn't have any test summary results from the end of course exams. We knew how we stood in the state in LEAP and ILEAP, but the end of course exam results, we didn't know any summary results or where we ranked in the state because those weren't released yet. The tests were taken well into May. So this week, the state did actually re release the summary results. And when I saw the results this week, I could not have been happier for the students, their parents, the teachers, and the administrators. We ranked high in the state in several areas in the percentage of students scoring proficient. In an end of course exam, that means the student scored excellent or good to be considered proficient. Mm -hmm. um, so as you know, this was a result of a tremendous amount of work, not just during school, but after school, <coughs> weekends. Teachers put a lot of time in, students, parents, administrators all, and really the curriculum writers too, who spent hours on top of teaching, helping create our district assessments, our benchmark exams, curriculum maps, planning tools, and we had a large number of high school teachers who joined in and really made sure all students and all teachers had access to resources they needed to teach the standards to the students. So this has been a tremendous team effort. And just to quickly explain the chart to you, what you'll see in front of you are the um, end of course tests listed on the left. Mm -hmm. And the first column is the percentage of students scoring proficient, which would be excellent or good on each of the tests. The next column would be the percentage of students statewide scoring proficient, which you can see we have a pretty high um, difference between the several of these um, percent proficients from the state. And then the most exciting column to me is the last column, the state ranking, where you'll see the algebra and, of course, uh, percent proficient ranked second in the state. We're only one percentage point behind first place, which is phenomenal. I mean, it's absolutely phenomenal. We had over 45% of the students <coughs> scored excellent, which is the highest you can score. So it was just tremendous, and geometry was fourth, biology was ninth. So three in the top 10 and two in the top five was just phenomenal. And then we had the English scores actually increased a bit to get everybody up in the top 20. So it's just been, just been a really phenomenal year. Good job. Mm -hmm. School districts. Right, it, that's out of a, a total of 70 school districts. So we have done exceptionally well, mm -hmm. and our 70. math and science program is always is uh, way at the top. And overall, when you combine all six of the tests, we rank eighth in the state out of 70 school districts on all of those um, mm -hmm. graduation exit exams or end of course tests that they need for graduate. And that's not passage rates, because our passage rates are extremely high for first time takers well over 90 percent and then some a small part of the number of the students have to retake in order to graduate but these are the percentage of score of students scoring in the top two categories which is determined at a proficiency level for the the state has determined that to be the proficiency level not the passing rate mm -hmm. so our passing rate is well 90 some odd mm -hmm. percent mm -hmm. on the first try in all of these tests but the um proficiency rate which is how the state looks at the rankings um, is, is exceptionally high when compared to the state averages and then all of the other parishes mm -hmm. as a whole. So we're very excited about what we're seeing mm -hmm. in terms of our curriculum at the high school level. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Yes, so we, we did better on all courses, better than 62 of the other school districts. That's not bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you, when you got 62 following you somewhere back there, <laughs> and you're up. <laughs> yeah, that, that's important. All right, any uh, questions or comments, Ms. Dysart? Thank you, Dr. Kraft. Thank you, Ms. Lametta. This is great news for our school system and for our high school students, and congratulations go out to our administration, the teachers, um, and especially our, our students mm -hmm. and, our, and the parents. Um, this is exceptional, uh, being second in, in the state in algebra. And just to go down the list mm -hmm. for the public's sure. um, um, benefit, fourth in the state in geometry, ninth in the state in biology, 12th in the state in English, and then history is 17th in English, three is 19, and overall eighth in the state at, at, with 70 school districts. So phenomenal, you know, the end of course exams is testing right on what the students are learning. And so congratulations go out to all, and um, it's wonderful that our, that our teachers and our um, our, our students are working so hard and um, and doing such a, an excellent job, reaching excellence in education. Thanks. Thank you, thank you, Ms. Dossard. Anyone else? So, the students, parents, and teachers, they uh, they get accolades for the hard work and the uh, determination that they put put forth in urging our students on and supporting them. Uh, supporting them year round where they can achieve this level of competence. So that's really, really great. And thank you for coordinating it, Ms. Lametta. That makes, that makes a difference. If you've got someone that uh, pulls everything together, you got to know where you are to know what you've got to do. And uh, that's, that's extremely important. And we appreciate you giving us this data and the uh, data that we need to evaluate and move forward and you, you always uh, want to tweak things where you see that you can do it a little better and uh, of course uh, when we number two in our algebra we'd like to be number one but two's not not that bad and, and uh, ahead, ahead of 60 62 other parish school system that's that's not anything to snuff about so uh, I thank everyone that's involved in the school district and helping it and uh, pulling pulling for it and urging urging uh, a more uh, achievement that's that's what it's all about the students and what they achieve thank you very much anyone else thank you thank you, thank you. Uh, we'll move to agenda item six a motion to incorporate the report of july the 2015 general committee meeting into the minutes of the july 2015 regular monthly meeting minutes we need a motion Second. motion by mr Warner, second by uh, Dr. Lewis. Uh, any questions relative to the minutes? You have them in your folder. Uh, here are none, vote your machines. Motion passes 10 0. Then we move to agenda item seven. Minutes of the regular monthly me meeting of April the 21st, 2015, is published on June the 26th, 2015. We need a motion. Second. So moved by Ms. Dysart. Second by Ms. Lemoyne. Any questions before we go for the vote? Okay, vote your machines. Motion passes 10 0. Minutes of the regular monthly meeting of May the 26, 2015, is published on July the 17, 2015. I have a motion, Mr. Campbell. Second by Ms. Aceveda. Uh, any questions before we vote? Vote your machines. Motion passes 10 0. Okay, agenda item eight, motion to approve the update to the strategic plan, action plan for 2011 through 2016. And there was a recommendation by the committee, motion by Dr. Lewis, second by Mr. Long. Any questions on the strategic plan? Hearing none, vote your machines. Motion passes 10-0. Okay, we go to personnel changes for the month of July 2015, and that's for you to peruse. That's listed as item eight in your packets. Glad to have you back. Look who's back. Well, thank you. It thank looks you. great. Yeah. Hey, Paul. Glad to be back. <laughs> Mr. Granberry. How are we doing? Good to see you. You're looking good. 
It's good to good to see you. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. It's good to see you and sometimes good to be seen. Absolutely. Well, I can tell you a way to lose a lot of weight, but I don't I don't think you want to You don't do recommend it. I don't think you don't want to recommend do it. it. I wouldn't recommend it at all. No, no. Yes. Quite a list there, and uh, those in uh, highlighted are the new ones since yes. we had the committee meeting. Yes, that's right. So uh, we still have a few openings, but we, and with two weeks, to, uh, you know, a week to go, and two weeks before the kids come, we're in great shape. We're really yeah. looking good. Very few openings left. That's, that's good. Two weeks ago, we had a lot of openings. But we in good shape, right? People showed up with the apps ready to go, huh? They ready to go. <laughs> okay, that's uh, good. Spent the last two days with the new teachers a little bit over at Chelmet Elementary. Very enthusiastic, energetic looking group. Okay. And what about the bus drivers? Well, I think we're in good shape with the bus drivers. You know, we we get some good. applicants, some people looking to work and no uh, publicity helped. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. That's that new person that's doing such a great job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And she said she could handle it. That's she right. says you can drive three buses at once. <laughs> uh, any other questions, Mr. Granberry? Thank you, Mr. Granberry. All right. I have one question. Okay, Ms. Dyson. Mr. Granberry, it is good to see you. I know you've been working um, during the day. Half days, a little bit yes, here and there. The last two days, I worked full He's days. He's been here right. every day. Here, yeah. It's kind of, it's kind of like, yeah. well, so glad to wearing me you. down. But I'm, I'm there. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Glad to yeah. be better. Um, so, about how many openings do you think there still still are? Out about there? four. Good. Okay. So we are in good shape. Okay. Yes, yeah. and two people are interviewing right now for two of the four. You know, so we we're in really good shape. Great job on you know, recruiting and doing all that you can to keep qualified staff. There. So thank you. Well, Miss Larson and Miss Boche and uh, <laughs> Dr. Raviota, you know they all been pitching in. Everybody's been pitching in really. So while I was on vacation, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know, on vacations like that. Yeah. <laughs> all right, thank you, Mr. Grimby. Right. Appreciate it. Item 10, a motion to approve the 2015-2016 transportation route. And there was a recommendation by the committee, uh, Mr. England. Uh, motion, second by Mr. Long. Any questions? You have, uh, we went over these and you had a catalog there last time presented by Dr. Gonzalez. She did a great job with this. so. I think uh, that was a third uh, overview of uh, what's happening on the transportation routes for 2015-2016. Uh, Vote your machines. Motion passes 10-0. Item uh, 11, motion to approve the administration's recommendation for student athletic insurance for 2015-2016. And we heard that report, and it was a recommendation by the committee. Any questions of Mr. Halton at this time? Motion by Ms. Acevedo, second by Mr. Campbell. Any questions? Hearing none, vote your machines. Motion passes 10 0. Okay, at this time we'll entertain a motion to go into executive session to discuss contract negotiations. Motion by Mr. Warner, second by Mr. England. So all in favor of going into executive session, say aye. 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 All opposed, nay. All right, we uh, will go into executive session. Entertain a motion to come out of executive session, oh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Warner, second by Dr. Lewis. All in favor of coming out of executive session, say aye. Aye. All opposed, nay. Okay, we're coming out of executive session, going directly to item 13, 
about items to be placed on the agenda for the next committee meeting. Anyone have something that's uh, a burning desire to lift up now or you have time before the next meeting? I'd yeah, like, Mr. I'd like to um, have an update on our brand new school, Miro Elementary, and where we are yeah. at this point. Thank you. Okay. Miro on Barry's Road. Okay. While well, she's writing that down, do we have item 14 in the superintendent's recommendations? Uh, nothing other than that. We've had a tremendous uh, week with our administrative in service, so we're all pumped up and ready to open the new school year. This Monday, all of our new teachers that we have hired for the first time this year began meeting as of yesterday, and they'll meet all week long, uh, getting their uh, laptops ready, famili familiarizing themselves with all of our computer programs, software programs, instructional programs, meeting with their principals and instructional supervisors as to what their duties will be, and going through all a week of uh, their pre-employment information, and they're very eager. I met with them yesterday morning, and it looks like a really, really good crew. The, all of our teachers will report on August the 4th, for their first day of in-service, our support people will report on August the 6th. We will have our opening um, ceremony at the Cultural Center, the Civic Center, on okay. Friday morning, August 7th at 8.30 for all of our employees. And then our students uh, will arrive on Tuesday, August 11th. So we're very, very excited. Uh, we've had a good summer of in-service and preparation. So everyone is ready to begin. Okay. And August the 29th, we'll have our 10th anniversary of uh, our the Day of Reflection. Yes, we okay. certainly will. All right. It'll be Friday, August 28th. We'll have that. Okay. So do we have a motion to adjourn? Motion, Mr. Campbell. By second, Ms. Estimator. All in favor of adjournment, say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Nay. We stand adjourned. Thank you for coming.